Connor, an excellent result tonight that moves us up to second in the table. Yeah, great performance. Um, we were delighted with the three points. Obviously, that was a target before the game started. So to get that, obviously, going into the trophy weekend is a massive result for us. Callum Stead with two goals, one in the first minute. Uh, two great goals from him today. He was brilliant. Listen, he's always a threat. Every time he plays, he gets chances. We know that. He'll always run to goal. He'll make movements in behind. And he's a threat throughout every game. So it's no surprise he's picked up another two goals. He could have had three or four. But brilliant positions from Steady. And then Furley, Furley deserved to get the two goals. That was his 11th goal of the season now. He brought in in the summer. How have you found his development this season? As I said, listen, we know what he is. He wants to score goals. As I said, he'll always run to goal. He makes great movements in behind. He always presses defenders. He makes mistakes from the back line of opposition. So he's doing brilliant for us. He's got to keep developing as he has been and he's improving throughout the season, which is key. Hopefully he can keep his form going into, obviously, the back end of the season. Created lots of chances today, which must be pleasing as a coach and staff, but maybe wanted to take a few more of them, especially in the first half. Yeah, listen, I think that's been the that's been the story in a lot of games this season. We've um, we've dominated a lot of games, created a lot of chances, and probably in a lot of games we've not really put them to bed as early as what we would have liked. Um, two 0 but probably should have been three or four if we're if we're being honest. I thought the tactics were brilliant. We changed up a little bit. We knew their frailties was obviously physicality and entries, and we went three three athletic lads up front, and obviously took the game to them. So it, it's worked well for us, and we're um, pleased with three points. Don't want to focus on negatives, but was another missed penalty in that first half as well today. Is it just un unlucky, or what can we do to sort of start scoring some more penalties this season? Uh, it's a trick. You can't listen. You can't replicate the feeling, obviously, in training when it is to get the pressure that comes in a game. So, listen, Pete Brunley, We know Brunley's a technical player, so I think he struck it well. It's a good save for the keeper. We'll give, we'll give credit to the goalie on that one. Um, obviously, Pritch has scored a few and missed a couple, so that's the way it goes. Listen, everyone misses penalties. I don't think there's anyone that scored every pen. So even Messi and Ronaldo missed pens. So there's, there's no issues there. The key to it was at, at one nil. Obviously, key stage of the game it didn't. Didn't make the lads drop. We still kept. We come out second half. We were outstanding. I thought the first 10, 15 second half, we come out with real intent and we had them penned in for the first 10, 15. As I said, so listen, that's the key thing. The bounce back after the penalty miss is obviously a massive show of character from the lads. On Saturday, Dean was disappointed to concede that goal late on. It must be great to come away today with a clean sheet. We're always disappointed to concede, especially obviously in, in a manner on, like on Saturday late, as you said. So listen, when when the ref got injured, we had a chat with the lads. We obviously we honed in on the, the key to getting a clean sheet and. Obviously, I thought the lads defended brilliantly. You can see Keane Hayes is a brilliant player for them, real tricky. He was a, he was a big threat for help, but I thought skipped them really well on them. So, and Josh, to be fair, Josh made saves when he had to, kicked really well, swept well as he always does, and I thought it was a great performance from the back four and the goalie. We look ahead now to Cup Action quarter final away at Bromley. It's going to be a, an exciting tie on Saturday. How's this next few days going to look for you in the group? Listen, that's the word, exciting. We're all excited. We spoke about it after the game. It's a really exciting prospect for us, and I think, obviously, I touched on it earlier, it's key to get the three points going into that. Obviously, we've got teams in the league that play around us as well so to, to be able to get that three point buffer obviously the additional three points tonight is key it means that people can't catch too much ground on us on Saturday with us not playing but listen quarterfinals the FA Trophy we know obviously we won on penalties at Maidstone last year and what happened after so we're hopeful of going one better it's a massive occasion obviously second v third obviously in the league so it's a big game and obviously we know the test that's going to be they're a great side they're tough to beat they have some quality players at the top end that score some brilliant goals so it'll be a brilliant test and obviously we're hoping all the fans come down and support us down there and push us over the line Connor, congratulations and thank you for your time. Thank you.